Hey everyone, Tim here once again, and I'm going to give you my top five uh, favorite Wednesday moments. Um, I haven't done any Wednesday related stuff because, you know, I'm just kind of taking a break within like different things. And, you know, why not do another Wednesday related video? Because I haven't done one in a while. Uh, now, these are pretty much, what's funny is, these aren't going to be the type of moments that, you know, most people will, will pick. Maybe, maybe not. Like, this specific one. But, um, you know, spoilers ahead. If you haven't seen Wednesday Season 1, check it out. And, like, the Raven Dance isn't going to be on here. The whole thing with, you know, the Crackstone and Goody and, you know, they're not going to be on there. But, um, I, I, you know, I got some, like, five pretty good moments. And um, let me start with the Piranha Payback. Yes. Pugsley. They kind of made Pugsley a very weak character. Um, and I kind of get it. But people got to understand the, the comic strips were like that. Like, the you know. Um, and I just like the way it was. The, the way, like. Tim directed it, and I think Jenna Ortega is finally getting what she deserves, because uh, just the amount of typecasting she's been getting um, from looking a lot younger, um, playing this character that she can actually put herself into, you know, this role uh, wonderfully, and just that scene alone literally is just... Most people have their own, you know, um, reasons on why they, they hate the show and why they, you know, hate or love. Um, mine is, I just, I think Jenna, there's this, I've talked about, and again, shows with, that have, um, replaced actors, you know, unnecessarily this is a show i don't think but if you replaced jenna ortega if she was going on doing you know a contract like five different movies or whatever i don't think this show would last long i really don't think it would ever last long if you're on like up to season three or four or whatever i don't think it would last long uh replacing her uh but that's my opinion and um that's that. Number four is Tyler revealing himself. Yeah. Um, the character of Tyler, I, I swear, I didn't know it was gonna, it, this was gonna happen. I did not know he was going to be, uh, the hide. I did not know he was gonna be a hide. Um, and just seeing the design of, you know, who he turns into is really cool. You know, it's very early, like, you know, late 80, like the early Burton-like, you know, things you would see in, you know, glimpses of like in Pee Wee or uh, Beetlejuice. It's, it's just, it's such a great vibe as well. And just... This this kid this guy is doing all he's get it all he's got and he, he's just wonderful playing this character, um, you know, calm, cool, collected, and then having that happen, it, I did not know honestly. This was like scream, which is funny, scream all over again. I really, and it, it was creepy, it was scary, and, and I enjoyed it. Next is. The relationship between Enid and her father. I have a theory. This is pretty funny. But I have a theory that her father is the werewolf that attacked uh, Dave and Jack in American Werewolf in London. I don't know why, but it's just a little theory. I want to kind of, um, if I ever want to like go back to the theory videos when I have the time. I'm, I'm thinking of doing a little theory video there. But this is... One, honestly, one of those, 
you know, this is, along with number one, is the one that got me the most emotional, the most just bawling out, I don't know why, where Enid is the lone wolf, and she, you know, the mother doesn't know she's going to be able to wolf out. So she has her, you know, troubles with her mother. Her brothers are very, you know, mischievous. And the only one that actually understands her is her father. Just that scene alone where him going, you do what you do, kiddo. And then them hugging. It's just, it's... I get really, like, emotional with it. I don't know why. But, um... Enid, honestly, is one of those characters. Emma Myers, who... Although I had a little trouble (laughs) with her sister that I've talked about before. Just nonsense. But Emma Myers, honestly... Again, what I said with recasting people... If Emma Myers became, like, huge with... Because she's getting... Um, because of portraying this character, she is getting like nonstop, um, opportunities now with movie roles. And if they replace Emma Myers as Enid, I don't think I'd end up watching it any, I don't know why. It's just, I love the character of Enid. Um, I, I even did childhood thoughts on this character. So I don't know how that it's gonna, you know, it's just gonna be very odd if they ever. I know it would never, probably won't happen, but I'm just thinking of some anyone else as as Enid. It's just it's impossible. This is how great this cast was. It you see someone in these roles. You see someone in the Bianca role. You see someone in the Yoko role. It's just it is odd to see other people in those roles. Number two is winning the Poe Cup. This is such an awesome, like, love letter to Tim Burton's other works. Uh, Like, you see Batman, little Batman Returns action in there. Um, You have the Jokers, of course. And just the, you know... Literally, Enid being more like Wednesday and basically, you know, doing her own thing. And I love that. Um, I wanted to put another, I wanted to put the one, it was either between this or this little, uh, little argument between Enid and Wednesday where um, it was her birthday, and then she basically went over, you know. Um, I chose this more because instead, because it was more, it was like an adventure, and I love putting, like, adventures into into something like this. And number one is, <laughs> I've said this before, in other, like, different things with, like, um, I think I have said this is my favorite moment, Wednesday finally hugging Enid. And Enid, like, it's just the whole hugging thing, foreshadowing something to come up. And then Enid saving Wednesday's life against Tyler and all of this stuff. And then, you know, Jenna putting it all she got and Emma putting all, Bennett putting it all she got. Literally, the heart of the show is Jenna and Emma, in my opinion, like Wednesday and Enid and the love to one another that I think we might see a when Claire, who knows? And that's always been like, that is just my number one favorite moment. And it's just not that it's just more of everything you've seen with, with Wednesday in the past. Um, and just that. It's just so refreshing and just just such a sweet little moment.
And that's that. Hope you like this, and I'll see you soon.